hey what is going on guys welcome back again in this video we are gonna learn how to change the progress of a silver only by touching or dragging its thumb because by default if you tap on a silver at any position you should see that the silver is able to set the progress and that is the default behavior of a silver in android right however we can stop that behavior and make our silver to be able to set progress only when we touch the thumb. So what we are waiting for? Let's jump straight into the Android Studio. Alright, as you can see, I have already opened up an existing project. So let me just explain this project briefly, although we have discussed this before. Anyway, as you can see, here we have an image view and a sigbar. Let's move on to the main activator Java. Here we have initialized the sigbar and image view. Then we are using 100 as the max value of our sigbar and 70 as the default progress. Here we have called update opacity function. And this function is responsible for maintaining the transparency of an image view. Simple. Finally, here we have a listener attached with our sigbar and this is where we have to write most of the code. In on progress changed, we have also called update opacity. Anyway, I hope now you understand this project very well. If not, I would suggest you to watch the video about how to use the sigbar. I'll mention the link in this video description. Ok, now let's come to the point. So I'll begin by creating two global variables private int uh, m progress private boolean m is drag now here inside on a start tracking touch i'll retrieve the current progress from this sigbar and then i will assign the value to this mProgress variable. As we know, this method gets called just before the onProgress change. Anyway, now simply type mProgress equal to sigbar dot get progress. Now in, now in onProgress change, first I will comment this line. So basically we will be calling this update opacity function only when the thumb is touched and move to a position okay so now i'm going to check if m progress equal to i so if this i and m progress both are equal that means no progress so we can call return in this case now if is drag here we can call update opacity And by default this is drag will hold false value so we have to do something in the else part now if math.abs and here I will subtract m progress minus i so according to this subtraction it should return a negative value because this i is a larger number than m progress and this math.abs is used to retrieve an absolute number means if you pass a negative value then it will convert that into a positive value anyway now greater than 1 so if the value of this side is greater than 1 then only we will set a progress like this sigbar dot set progress and here we will pass our m progress global variable now else is drag equal to true 
Finally in stop tracking touch, whenever we leave the thumb, the value of is drag should be false again, which is the default value. Is drag equal to false. And that's it. So now it's time to test our application. Okay, now if I click on the sig bar at any position or even if I try to drag over it, see nothing is happening. But now if I click on the thumb and drag, see it's working now according to our need. So you can even apply these same steps in Kotlin based applications. So that's it for this video guys. If you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section or even you can join the telegram group and ask your questions. Also if you think you have learned something new today, hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you soon in the next one.